Um, I think it's a huge disappointment. I think he was going, he should have got it at least at the end of the season. I, I think it's way too sudden. I think it's a real shame how it's ended up as well. How all these you know reports of him falling out with the players, falling out with the assistant manager. I don't think he deserved the way he's gone. I don't. I think he he should have had the ability to resign rather than be sacked after what happened last season. Well, I, that's what I would have thought. I think. Even if he got, we got relegated, I'd be quite happy with him this next season as well. I mean, I think the whole situation has been heightened as well. We're not even in the relegation zone. I know we're very near, but we're not exactly in it. And I think the only reason there's so much stress, you know, being put on, onto us this season is because we won it last year. Well, I know the odds are for Mancini, and I think he would be good. But then I don't know if he's had the similar situations of managing a team in where we are in the moment, you know, trying to stay up. I would quite like Mark Warburton from Rangers. I know he didn't have a great finish you know, well with the Rangers club but I think he has a lot of fight in him I think he would do us quite well Shocked but not entirely surprised and it's funny enough I was talking to a couple of Leicester fans at work we said with these three games that are coming up that we got um, Swansea Millwall and Sevilla but if we lost all three it might make it difficult for him to stay on so it is a shame because he's a great manager and what he's done for us is brilliant it, it really is I think, I think the heads may have been turned yeah I think it all started with the first game of the season. We all thought we'd go to Hull and absolutely pound them, thrash them. Absolutely 5 6 nil, no problem. But football's not like that. You have to work for everything. And by the time we got too far into the season and realised that things weren't going the way they were, it's too late to turn it around. The only good thing is there's still 13 games and there's everything to play for. Good question. I mean, there was talk of Mancini coming. He's a decent manager. He did a good job at Man City. I know he's got sat recently, but he is a good manager. And there was talk of Nigel Pearson, but after his history with the club, I can't see how the owners would want him to come back. So we'll just have to wait and see. Hopefully they'll stay up. That's what we all want. That's what everyone at Leicester wants, is to stay in the Premier League. Because we feel that we deserve to be there, but we've got to do it on the pitch to prove it. A morning of a funeral where there's not many people around. People who are tired of tender to be indoors or, well, can't believe what's happened either watching Sky Sports or something like that to keep up with the news on who's going to be the next manager. It's a tough ask. Mancini, Laurent Blanc, I'd take, I'd take them. Nigel Pearson, I don't, I don't know, I don't think he'd come back again. Martin O'Neill don't want it, so that's it. You want someone like Brian Clough, you know what I mean? <laughs> someone strong, strong character. Someone who can say, OK, then if you don't play, you dropped. So now with Ranieri, them players didn't perform, like Vardy, Mahrez, they didn't perform and he didn't drop them. He made promises to drop him, but he never did. And that's lying, that is, you know what I mean? You, you can't keep promises. You can't keep saying, oh yeah, we're going to drop him, we're going to drop him. He never did. Against Millwall, Vardy supposed to have not played, neither Morris, but Vardy obviously played. And he played on Wednesday nights as well, which surprises me to be fair.